Hey, Augusta Nation, good afternoon. Hope everybody's doing well and getting after it. I just ended my day, went and visited my mom real quick. Um, it's actually my mom and dad's anniversary, and it's the uh, first one after he just recently passed, so real tough. But today, uh, out there on the Estimator Trail, uh, didn't have too many today, about 10 of them, so a little bit light, but we just cut off our marketing. Uh, we're almost at full capacity and as far as our recurring services, the mowing and bed weeding and shrub trimming. So, uh, we, you know, almost at capacity, so that's nice. And then we we're about six weeks booked out about the middle of August with projects. So uh, we're going to cut the faucet off on marketing, try to save some money and recoup some profit because and I'll do a video about our profit and loss uh, up to uh, the, the second quarter or through the second quarter. Uh, but we did not, and we have only profited a couple thousand dollars. And, you know, a lot of that, uh, anytime you're growing, you're sucking cash. Uh, so we are going to do what we can to profit the rest of this year. We do need to hit a little over $100,000 in the bank account in order to hit our goals and to move forward uh, with next year's plan and as far as like uh, you know getting new locations and things like that so I know we can do it it's looking good so far this this uh, it's only been the first first week of the month but looking really good and I do believe uh, we will have our first super profitable month um, this year and we will keep on pressing through December so and uh, I know if you've seen a video recently with Mike Andy's, the Bellingham location has recently cut out some, you know, further cut out services uh, to simplify and really hone in on the basics of the mowing, uh, bed weeding, bush trimming, mulch, things like that. And <laughs> it's always a good idea to follow Mike Andy's advice, uh, but we had, we just recently uh, cut out, we, we've been, deleting services throughout the years as we grow as well. I think it's just a natural process of, especially if you're in the Augusta model, you know, you're really trying to hone in on the recurring basic services, setting your team up for the most success possible. And so eliminating friction uh, or services that cause friction, uh, cause callbacks, cause a little bit of headache as far as the logistics of scheduling, things like that. So if you see Mike's one of his more recent videos of what they cut out of uh, planting and I think he's already cut out the paper patios and stuff but he just kind of explains about that and we recently just decided today uh, to cut out uh, all plantings any sort of bed edging as far as like uh, we use aluminum bed edging and uh, the little stones um, and we also uh, decided to cut out sod and you know, those are all services that are super profitable and pretty, pretty damn easy as far as landscaping is concerned. And um, we did this. Uh, one of our team members uh, that is uh, that is with us, uh, super talented guy. I mean, you could you could throw anything in front of him, whether he's seen it or not, whether he's done it or not. He's gonna do what it takes to figure it out and do a damn good job. He'll be leaving us in about two months. So thank thank God he gave us such a great uh, notice. Uh, super great guy. And so we've got six weeks of projects booked out. I'm sure we've got some decent sized sod installs in that amount of time. So glad he let us know. And we will, and the, the main reason as far as like something simple like plants, um, and even some like sod's pretty simple, but the biggest thing is you can do a great job, you know, execute on the estimate, great budgeted hours, knock the work out, customer be happy, and then with, with things that are living, give them great instructions for watering, recommend an irrigation person even before the, the job starts. Let them know that we're not responsible, there's no warranty, and you must water your plants and your, your grass. Just like Mike said, they go out of town or, you know, they tell you they've got adequate coverage and they don't and you get a drought or whatever happens and the plants die and they 
whether or not they explicitly tell you that you're responsible or want you to replace it, even if they don't come out and say it, they're gonna, that is a bad experience brought to them by your company. And so we're just trying to eliminate any of that kind of possibility. We wanna be the best damn mow company uh, in town. Mowing, basic services, bed weeding, shrub trimming, things like that. So we made that decision. It's kind of a hard decision because it's, uh, it's good money um, great profits uh, but that's that's what we did and like I said it's always great to follow Mike's advice he built this thing um, and everything that Bellingham does uh, we kind of look we look towards we want to we want to emulate Bellingham because they are a million plus dollar uh, company that does great profits and you know we got a great role model to follow uh, I know Marcus is over there running that and I'm sure he'll he'll tell you that running a company of that size, uh, if you can decrease the friction, decrease the pain points uh, as much as possible, that involves the the team as well. You know, as far as re reducing their pain points. So we did that. That was official. We changed it in our estimator calculator. Cleaned up our our service offering, and so that's what we've got going on. Um, and then today. I was out doing an estimate and it was one that the note said client clicked on a one-click estimate uh, which was several weeks ago and so this one specifically was for property cleanups or mulch or, or pine straw and what I like to do when I get those is call the call the client ask them what specifically they want on the property that way when I go there I know what what I'm looking for so I, I went to that one and not, uh, I called the guy, didn't answer, but I get there and he's there. He's like, hey, your guys were just here. And uh, I was like, okay, cool. So you don't need an estimate for anything? And he said no. So well, while I'm here, I'll just I'll do a little quality check, you know, just to check out, see how the guys are doing, see how your service went. And he's like, okay, cool. And so I noticed that there are some things, and it was just a mowing service, basic mowing. Um, there are some things that were just a miss. And that's one of the things that you can do as far as if you only offer a couple things, you can be exceptional at it. You can deliver as close to 100% as you possibly can. Like all of all of your mows need to be A pluses. Um, otherwise, yeah, you, you know, you, if you do an okay job, you know, a 90 or 85% or yeah, maybe some some people a 75%. You mow the grass, might have some things missed, property line wasn't exactly hit. You know, uh, the valve boxes weren't edged out. Got some debris in the front. There's some people that are like, oh, well, at least the grass got mowed. And they're not going to complain. But they're also not going to sing your praises. They're not going to give you that word of mouth that you're going to need so desperately once you get to 800 to a million dollars and you don't want to have to market to new customers um, as much. Uh, because that's going to be, you know, where you get that high profit margin. You build a business that is doing exceptional work, that the customer base you've got, you know, you got three, 400, 500 uh, clients that you're doing recurring mows, you want them to be giving you five-star reviews because you're, and you're able to provide that exceptional service because you're only offering a couple things. So when I was at that customer's property, there's some things that were amiss. The property lines, which most of our homes have uh, fences all, of, all around, so it's very easy to determine a property line by the fence posts. And so that, those were off, like, you know, say three to five foot wasn't cut on each side. The valve boxes weren't edged uh, out. Um, There's some clumping grass, you know, nothing. That guy, I asked him if he was happy. He, yeah, he was. And, but he, he wasn't going to sing our praises. You know, he wasn't like, man, y'all did a great job. Excellent. And that's what we want. So. I like I said, I only had 10 of them today. And so I saw that one and saw, you know, the team that did it. I was like, you know what? I'm in the area. We got tight routes. And, you know, I could go see most of these properties in, you know, in, in an hour, an hour and a half. And so I just went down the line and, and you and took video. Uh, we've got a little group, yellow slip group um, on our WhatsApp. And I just, uh, you know, named the property and used it as a coaching thing. Cause they weren't it wasn't heinous and i could tell some of the things like the property line it was consistent so that told me that that offense required some training 
they not like they were purposely skimping on three to five feet on property lines. But there's just some also just some commonalities of missed weed eating, clumping of grass, uh, not edging valve boxes. So I was able to do that um, today, which is great. And um, you know, I, I like being able to do that. Now I can address that team and have video proof of like, hey man, I want what's best for you. I want you to succeed, but I also I need to hold you to a, a certain level of accountability. So I'll be doing that tomorrow. Um, I think it's a pretty good tool if you ever have it's not some it's not something that you can you know that's scalable that you can just have all the time you know quality checks uh, because you know that's why we have production based pay yellow slip system things like that your customer it needs to be the guide most of the time uh, but I was able to do that today and got some good video to to help with with training and accountability and, and things like that so Overall, pretty good day. Um, it, even though we had a four-day work week, we were off for the fourth, and uh, so we got our work week started on Tuesday. It looks like the vast majority, there might be one crew um, that has to clean up some yards on Saturday, but it looks like we got it done. Um, so super happy about that, and I will. Um, I think I, I think I posted the video today. We had we had yellow slips. Uh, this morning we had a meeting went over that you know, it was two weeks of them and I'm glad that we're doing them now but if you getting into that habit of doing them every single week is super important because it'll keep everything fresh in everybody's mind uh, they'll remember it better um, it's just uh, but anyways we did our did ours I posted it today to see to show you know what our yellow slip process is like and, and just to, just to have footage on there hope everybody is having a great week uh, great week back and until next time go get after it